Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be talking about targeted training for judo and grappling in general. A lot of us, I'm sure, we lift weights, we go to judo, jiu-jitsu and wrestling and this doesn't always help your grappling. Uh, there's a lot of exercises or a lot of training routines that we do in the gym that are not necessarily beneficial for grappling. Of course, a little bit of strength added is always good, but the type of training is also very important. When, for example, Gordon Ryan talked about uh, his training, he says he does a bodybuilding style training in the gym. I was a bit surprised because it does not cater to uh, his grappling. And this is very important. But before that, uh, please make sure you check out my newly published book, The Origins and History of Judo. It is a translation of the 1903 manuscript by Ryohei Uchida. Link will be down below. Thank you. So first, let's talk about the obvious one. You've seen it everywhere, and that is rope climbing. The first exercise is rope climbing, a lot of repetitions, your grip strength, your pulling strength, your core, and also it takes a lot of mental toughness to do this. And uh, you have to be very thorough and also the synchronicity of your entire body is also uh, being tested. So it is a great exercise for people with grips. So next is this pulling exercise. It can be done with bands, it can be done with weights, as you can see here. This very explosive pulling from the entire body here, you see, you bend the knees, so it's coming from your heels all the way up to your hand. You can do it with the resistance bands, depending on your strength and thickness. Here, look, he even has a full stack pulling it like it's nothing. So this is a very important exercise, and a lot of judo throws, they have the same opening, such as uh, this one and look it's a full body exercise as you can see from the balls of the foot uh, to the knees to your core and then your back your shoulders everything here you see Yamashita doing it so the the benefit of this particular exercise is not only it makes you very strong but also it accustoms your your body to these very explosive openings to these entries that are very strong also if you can you know row the the full stack like this for endless repetitions you can do one good explosive repetition on your opponent in competition so here this opening it can be for anything it can be for uchimata on the sleeve it can be for sasai it can be for the shoulder throw you name it a lot of judo techniques are uh, started by this or opened up by this particular uh, pull so this pull, pulling exercise that you see you should do it of course on both sides you don't want imbalances and as you can see it's a full body with the bend of the knee and also that pull of course you don't have to pull the entire stack from the first time build up progressive overload if you don't have access to a gym resistance bands there's many thicknesses so you adjust accordingly of course but this is a very uh, amazing example of a targeted exercise especially for something like judo so um, this exercise will give you a lot of strength a lot of agility and that you know pouncing in for that uh, attack um, next is um, I don't think a lot of people do this enough here you can see Isao Okano doing his specialty, which is the Seo Enage, without any bands. He's doing it body only. A lot of people just use this to kind of warm up, but you do not understand how many repetitions you need this for your body to become very uh, accustomed to this, create the neural pathways, uh, bands, and also just moving your body alone. Uh, you can do this. Uh, people call this uchikomi sure but also it's 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 exercise it's a workout uh, dozens of repetitions uh, culminating into hundreds uh, several times a week these are workouts these are exercises these are targeted exercises for judo it's going to build a lot of fitness you're going to be exhausted I, again i don't think many people are doing this quite enough 
uh, doing uchikomi with your partner a little bit before sparring is nothing trust me and of course depending on your specialty okano's specialty was seoenage it can be uchimata it can be anything so here doing this i'm doing this every time i go to the gym and it's not as easy as it looks um you have cardio you have that muscle just opening up and pouncing you also have your mobility is being tested so many things it is quite the workout you should go check out mariyama all these other stars doing it mariyama said he does it 50 to 100 times a day also of course if you want to go to the elite level compound exercises are always important uh, squat bench press power cleans you can debate the deadlift but uh, also working on your core is also uh, important but compound lifts dips push-ups variations of push-ups uh, presses um, whatever it may be and again this is if you want to go to the elite level you want to take your body to the maximum a lot of people are just recreational or they retired they don't need an access to a gym um, also good cardio is important many people either run up the stairs they um, they go swimming swimming i think is far more complementary to judo than running maybe it will take its own video but uh, running is also great for your legs especially up the stairs like the japanese your cardio etc so these are very targeted exercises for uh, judo it's very important uh, that you do a lot of cardio and again if you don't have access to a gym it's not the end of the world there is a lot of things that you can do in the dojo a lot of judo warm-ups are catered for judo meaning when you carry your your training partner on your shoulders you run with them you squat them at the end of the mat for 10 or 15 reps run back and then do it again before you let them go or switch parts uh, you can they also lie down uh, flat on their back you grab their sleeves you row them take two step backs row them uh, all the way to the length of the mat all these things will build general fitness but also it will accustom you to train with the human body because at the end of the day we're dealing with a human body also here this is what i was leading into is partner based workouts caters to judo um, here you can do these exercises again much harder than they look and uh, a lot of schools fortunately they, they have these types of warm-ups before the exercises before the uchikomi competition class usually is uchikomi nagekomi and then sparring but all other judo classes are usually like this which is very very good in my opinion jiu-jitsu schools in my opinion i think they lack this a lot very little warm-up even on the warm-up side is not enough and then they just do a few exercises and then they roll honestly i i speak from experience when i finish jiu-jitsu i'm like okay bye guys but when i finish judo i'm genuinely beat down it's it's not even close uh, in terms of fitness so if you have anything to add please let me know down below don't forget to check out my book uh, below the link will be uh, in the pinned comments this was shady and thank you for listening